Dateline, a fateful day when nothing was going right for anyone in Chiselton. Super Granny Smith was out as usual, delivering her super fast meals on wheels to the invalids of Chiselton. When suddenly, she literally ran into PC Rupert Leakey. I've been trying to bump into you for ages, Super Grand. Yeah, and today you succeeded, Rupert Leakey. You succeeded. Yeah! Nor were things any better at the Scunner Campbells. Either you pay me the two grand what you were me by this Saturday, or all your teeth will soon be rattling about in your head. Sincerely, yours, Vincent Eleven. Timorous toadstools. What are you going to do, Uncle? I mean, you haven't got £2,000, have you? No, not quite, Tom. More like 65p. And Vincent Eleven always collects his debts. Vincent Eleven, Uncle? So called because his mother was very friendly with an entire Arsenal football team. But, Uncle, how are you going to raise £2,000 by next Saturday? Oh, something will turn up. You'll see. Yeah, like your knuckles of Vincent Eleven, Uncle. Could be. Or then again. Call up, call up. Place your bets here now. 2001 against Chisholm Athletic winning the football <laughs> cup this Saturday. Come on, gentlemen. 2001. Come on, it's worth a gamble. Worth a pound. 2001 against. Uncle. Hear that, Tub? What a will. Something has turned up. Dear little Chiseldon Athletic, just think. <laughs> a pound on Chiseldon at odds of 2001. Why, well, that'll give me the two grand I need to pay off old Vincent Eleven. But, Uncle, Chiseldon Athletic are the pits of the football league. They never win anything, especially now they're playing the mighty Rovers. <laughs> it's my only chance, Tub. My only chance. So hurry up and lend us uh, 35p. Me? Lend you? Of course. Added to my own personal fortune uh, of 65p, uh, together makes... Um, 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 one pound exactly on chiseled and win. Please. Another mug here, Charlie. This cup final fever was already gripping Chiselton. Next Saturday's cup final was the first ever in Chiselton's history. Uh, Willie, have you heard the news, eh? <laughs> Big laugh. <laughs> Little Chiselton Athletic, drawn against the mighty Rovers. <laughs> well, with the laughing stock at Chiselton come Saturday. Still, you mustn't give up hope, Mr. Small. Ah, oh, but look at them, the mighty Rovers. I mean, what kind of striker have I got to compare with their golden boy, Gary Bootle? I've got Norman Earnshaw. Wouldn't even fetch a free transfer. Hopeless, buddy, hopeless. Supposed to do look a bit... A bit pathetic. That's the word, son. There's nothing more I can do for them. Coaching, ball control, I've tried a lot. I'm still... Pathetic. Right. Tell you what. My gran, super gran, maybe she could help them. You know, cheer them up a bit for Saturday's super match. If only she could, lad. Anything's worth a try. I'll get on to her right away, brother, Mr Small. But shortly afterwards, in Chiselton High Street, Oh, it's the most puzzling.
handling case imaginable, will it? Two crates of shoes stolen. One size eight, one size 11. <laughs> Obviously necked by someone with very odd feet. Granny, will you listen to me for a moment? You like helping people, right? Of course, Willie. I'm not you for nothing. You for? Unforgettable, fantastical, old day. Granny, she's an athletic body need all the help you can give him and pronto. In that case, there's no moment to lose. <laughs> Mr. Small. I even fed them six bowls of porridge each. They're still not super. They're not even slightly good. That's what I was afraid of, Super Gran. Say, Uncle, just look at them. There's no way Chislin's going to beat the Rovers this Saturday. I wouldn't be too sure about that, Top. It just so happens I've come up with this miraculous scheme to make sure they do just that. Miraculous scheme, Uncle? What miraculous scheme? The days flipped quickly past, and soon that unforgettable day dawned. Cup final day in Chiselton. Is it then, Mr. Eleven? Chiselton Athletic. Careful, Gary boy, you're worth a million, remember? Bit of a dump, isn't it? <coughs> Mr. Eleven, I presume, <laughs> chairman of the Mighty Rovers. <laughs> Cyril Small, manager, Chiselton Athletic. Uh, Mr. Small, uh, you know my star player, Gary Bootle? <laughs> yeah, probably don't know mine. Norman Earnshaw. No. Day for Chiselton, the Super Grand. Hey, it is that, Rupert Leakey. I only wish I'd more luck finding your odd footed shoe stealer. I must have turned a hundred people upside down this week. Still, nothing. Wear satin strips and have their hair streaked at Lennon's. Our boys wear hummy down shorts. Face the hairstyle on Bobby Charlton. That's how far apart we are. You mustn't give up hope, Mr. Small. We'll all be out there cheering you on, right? Great. That's funny, Mr. Grant. I never knew this guy not supporting Chiselton. <laughs> oh, he's no supporter of anyone except himself. If I know my wee scunner. Up to no good, I wouldn't wonder. Well, well, if it isn't the Scunner Campbell. Vincent Eleven, almost always a pleasure. You've got the little two grand you owe me, Scunner, eh? eh not yet, Mr. Eleven, no. But matters are in hand. Meanwhile, a small token of goodwill to the mighty rovers. Oh. How ah. <laughs> exceedingly thoughtful, Scanner. Chateau chiselled eh? Uh, they was all out of the Dom Perignon, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, you uh, know my star striker, Gary Bootle, of course. Right on, mate. 
Perhaps he uh, don't need to talk. Of course, he can say it all with his feet. Uh, yes, well, uh, he certainly can't see it with his mouth. Uncle, what are you doing? Just making certain I collect on my bet today, Tub. And that the mighty rovers bite the dust. Gradually, the mighty rovers will get drowsier and drowsier as the game progresses. And as they do so, my little Chiselton and my one pound will power on to famous victory. Nice of you to pop in to wish us good luck, Mr. Small. Not at all, Mr. Levin. Oi. A little pressy, eh? From our boys to yours. And may the best team win. Kind. I don't drink at all myself, but thank you. Thank you on behalf of the boys. We're here, lads! Oh, no! Uncle! Where you lot will come back here. Very nice chest job from Mr. Eleven of the Rovers, eh, lads? <laughs> Too late. You'll never click on that bit now, Uncle. I know it's up. I know. The thought of Vincent Eleven's his knuckles have got my teeth rattling already. And yet, I was not lost. If I could just sneak out of the emergency exit. You're going somewhere, oh. Scunner? <laughs> I think not. Just about to take my seat in the stands, Mr. Eleven. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, the uh, stands are that away. Oh, thundering thistles. Understand it, Willie. I know the lads aren't super fit, but never fallen asleep during a match before. Ten nil to the Rovers, Mr. Small, and it's only half time. Something we can do, will it? They're all asleep in there, Granny. They're never going to make the second half. Then it's down to us. We alone can save the honour of Wee Chiselton Athletic. Us, Granny, but how? I can hardly believe this, Gary boy. What's that, boss? Word is. Chiselton Athletic's entire team has been substituted at half time. And they are now going to field a team of midget schoolboys from the local park. <laughs> we could get in the Guinness Book of Records here today, Gary Boy. Biggest win in the Rovers' history. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Just one tiny problem, Mr. Small. Another disaster. Don't tell me. What is it, Willie? We're missing another striker. There's just me and him. Another striker. Well, there's always that poor soul on the bench, I suppose. He's always hanging around here hoping for the odd game. Oh, no! I'm a far better player than yon poor shockly thing. Come on! And an even bigger laugh now Gary is. Apparently, this load of school kids is going to be captained by somebody's granny. <laughs> <laughs> Walk over, eh, Mr. Eleven? A very good, Gary boy. Fancy you knowing a big word like that, eh? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Go on, my sons. Show them what it's about, eh? Tear them apart, then. There you go, son. And so it was that on that historic cup final day, it was down to Super Granny Smith to lead out the new Chiselton team for that crucial second half. Ten nil down at half time. There's nothing left for me now. Perhaps a carefully aimed champagne court will end it all for me. Great news on Will Chiselton have scored. What? Over and over. Eight goals in eight minutes, all scored by Su ah, Granny Smith. <laughs> oh. My little tartan tarantula. I could almost kiss her, but in the same thoughts. <laughs> the mighty rovers are only leading by two goals now, Uncle. Super Gran! Super Gran! Super Gran! Oh, she's fantastic! But the question on everyone's lips that afternoon was, could Super Grand do it for Tiny Chiselton Athletic and pull off the greatest giant-killing feat of all time? But it's a team of wheel, Bill! Come on, you old Denver Rock Beast! Chiselton Athletic 10, the Mighty Rovers 10. Oh, One more! For the sake of my exquisite cat teeth! Vincent Eleven's knuckles! The final goal in the dying seconds of the game, making Chiselton the winners. Man United heard about her. Bet you wish you could play as well as my granny. Him is the best. Aye. My debt fully repaid then, Mr. Lovell. I never knew you was a betting man, Scunner. Still, much obliged. Till the next time, eh? This was not the end of that historically great day. I just don't know what went wrong, Mr. Eleven. Just start looking for another club, Boodle. Because as from tomorrow, you are up for sale. Just at that moment, Super Granny Smith noticed something odd that rang bells in her super brain. Thought as much. Get Rupert Leakey here and fast, Willie. Oh, do I have to? Oi, 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 
What's your game, eh? If I'm not mistaken, the owner of size eight and size eleven. <laughs> okay. Okay, Super Grand. It was me what did that shoe job. Vincent Arsenal 11, I'm arresting you in the name of the law. Yeah, all right, all right. We, uh... <clears throat> Campbell! 11! Well, I mean, you won't be needing this lot where you're going, will you? <laughs> Up to your naughty wee tricks, as usual, Scanner. Right now, Minchbeck, I'm so happy I could kiss you. But then again... Mm, one kiss from you and I ain't up in quarantine. Ah, come on. Tell me, Mr. Small, how much do you reckon doing this place up all spick and span would cost you? <laughs> Super grand. Plus a small fortune. At least £2,000. Fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you old... This is tremendous, eh, lads? I'll get in with you for this, you old rat bag. Oh. Until we meet again, my wee scudders! <laughs> Nothing that she can do. Hang about, look out for super grand. 